morning, beautiful friends. This is the Organizer Advisor here to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. Okay, we are wrapping up the month of March and I just wanted to kind of give a summary of the Pick 3 Method and our focus on self-care as health care. I posted my results on the Facebook page, but I wanted to share with you in a video as kind of a summary. First of all, what is the pick three? The pick three method is that we went through our items in our house. We took an inventory and we made a physical list of all the health care, self care items that we had in our home. This is our exercise equipment, and we've been through my list multiple times. Go back and look at the playlist, pick three, and you're going to see the journey. Um, but, you know, just everything from our treadmill and hula hoops and croquet sets and golf clubs, bicycles, and then we focused on our health and beauty. What do we have for hair care, dental care? Um, what do we use for our facial? All of the products, all of the devices, we pulled all of those out. We made a physical list and whatever devices that you have to enhance your health, vitamins, supplements, whatever you had. And then we focused on choosing just three of those every day to utilize in order to enhance our health. First of all, let me share my results. Okay, so at the beginning of the month, my blood pressure was 145 over 88. Now, full disclosure, I have high blood pressure. Um, I went through a series of uh, like 190 over 110. So had to go on a little low dose blood pressure medicine and make some serious lifestyle changes. I'm a type A personality, if you haven't guessed, so I tend to absorb a lot of stress. So I had to incorporate some stillness and breath work and exercise and relaxation time into my schedule and make it a priority. I had to make it a priority in order to help my health and well-being. My blood pressure... Um, on, I think it was around the 25th, well, it was Sunday, so it's the 24th of March, was 127 over 82. I posted it on my Facebook page. There it is. Um, which is a huge drop. Um, for me, a huge drop. So this is a blood pressure that my body is very comfortable with. But in order to get that, I had to make some prioritizing of my self-care and now it's definitely reflecting in my health care okay so blood glucose i am pre-diabetic as are so many of us um my a1c was pretty high and so i've had to really seriously look at my diet we're going to talk about that in a minute um but my blood glucose level went from 116 which is that serious work for me to keep it at 116 um, which is still high, went down to 89, 89. That's a healthy blood glucose level. That's not pre-diabetic. And that was prioritizing self-care as health care. It was shifting the paradigm of treating myself last, taking care of myself last, not prioritizing, taking care of all the chores and the tasks and other people and all the other things that I do, which is not just this, um, to wait a minute. I'm going to take the first hour of the day to exercise, to meditate or do breath work, find time for stillness, time in scripture, prayer, whatever works for you to calm your body and your mind. Your body responds to your thoughts. And if your mind is overactive like mine and it's constantly racing and thinking of, oh, I need to do this or I want to do this or I'm going to do this, 
and your body's going to be in survival mode. You'll tell, you'll know when you're in survival mode because your breath is faster. You're, you're taking more breaths per minute. When you're in quiet meditation mode or stillness, your breath rate reduces, which means you're calming everything in your body, but you have to calm your mind. So it has had a huge impact, but it also has given me a, a, a an energy of peacefulness and just gratitude. Being in that energy, shifting from um, what I what I don't have to wow, look at this beautiful life I've created. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. It just needs to be pleasant. It needs to be something you can embrace and enjoy. That's enhancing our happiness. And that's the key to the transformation. Being happy in your life. The life you have created. And that's where I'm trying to guide you into creating that life that you love. Because it's healthy for you. When you can be in the energy of peacefulness, abundance, and gratitude, your energy level, your physiology comes down into a healthy, calm state of being, which allows you to really embrace at a more fully and deeper level all that you have created, all that you have been blessed with. So... Um, now we're going to talk about weight. <laughs> so the weight aspect was fluctuating. Um, one day I, I started out at like 139.7. I went down to like 137.3 and I was like so happy. I was like, okay, it's working. And then the next time I get on the scale, it's like 140. So it could be something to do with hormones, uh, stress level. I know when my stress is high, my weight goes up. Why? Because I produce cortisol. And when I produce cortisol, that influences the amount of insulin my body produces. So on those high stress days, it feels like I may be retaining a lot of water. It may be that I didn't hydrate correctly and my body was like, whoa, we're dehydrated. We're going to start keeping water. Um, it, so a fluctuation of a couple of pounds in over a month, not too serious. I was so excited at the 137 because that's getting down to my goal. But it just tells me that that is where I need to focus. But the blood pressure and the blood sugar are great indicators that I'm on the right track. And being able to now keep a food journal, start to look at what I'm doing with what I ingest in my body. And I'm going to make a scale. And if you want a copy of my little food journal that I'm going to design and a scale of my stress level, because that's going to influence my weight, how much I hydrate is going to influence my weight. But I think I need to track that. I'm not obsessed about it, but I still have a weight loss goal. And at my age, when I'm postmenopausal at 60 years old, it is so much more difficult to lose and maintain weight because of the hormone is not the same. Your metabolism is not the same when I was in my 40s, even 30s and 20s. So it's kind of a paradigm shift for me and I'm still kind of trying to get used to it. But I've got to figure out how my body works. So I'm going to keep a food journal and that's going to start in April. But I want you to stick with this pick three method. And if you've already mastered pick three, go to pick five. Because prioritizing self-care as health care is life changing and it's health changing. All right, my lovely friends, I hope you have a beautiful day. Leave in the comments below if you tried this pick three method or if you are beginning to prioritize your self care as a form of health care and mental well being. I'd love to hear from you. Until I see you in the next video. Oh, and if you have a comment of what we want to focus on in April, I know we a lot of us want to do spring cleaning. So leave in the comments below what you want me to focus on, and I will come back with some videos or with a, a program that we can follow to make it easy for you to enhance your happiness, transform your life, and your health. All right, my friends. Can't wait to see you in the next time.